Hi friends, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, let's discuss the salary details of Advanced ASC. How much salary you will be getting in hand? Let's see the detailed breakup. So, firstly speaking about the salary package of Advanced ASC, it was 6.5 lakhs per annum. So, let's discuss what are the various components involved in the 6.5 LPA. First thing was bonus. You will be getting 50,000 of one time joining bonus. You will be getting it in either first month or second month. So after this bonus, our remaining package was 6 lakhs per annum. Don't think bonus as an extra component. Don't add bonus to that 6.5 and count as 7 LPA. Total bonus will be included in that 6.5 LPA package only. So our remaining salary will be 6 LPA. Now let's see the detailed breakup mentioned in the offer letter. What are the different components involved? Firstly, your annual fixed compensation. This will be around 5.4 lakhs. And next one will be local variable bonus. This will be paid based on your performance in projects and some extra other things. It will be around 46,000. And then joining bonus. We already discussed this thing at the starting. It will be 50,000 paid in first or second month after your joining. And there will be some other benefits like gratuity and national insurance premium like that. So now the total CTC will be A plus B plus C plus D which will be around 6.5 lakhs per annum. So this was the detailed breakup of that 6.5 LPA. And then here comes the question what is your in hand salary per month. So don't count like uh, removing 50,000 bonus from the 6.5 LPA and remaining was 6 LPA and then dividing that 6 LPA with 12 will be getting 50,000. So don't think like that. There will be some extra cuttings. Let's see the detailed monthly breakup. Let's see different components in the monthly breakup. Uh, what are our gross earnings and then what are the directions involved in it and then finally your in hand salary. So first thing was your basic salary. It will be around 15,795 rupees per month. And next component will be your house rent allowance. Coming to this house rent allowance, you will be getting around 7,897 rupees per month. And next one will be your ad hoc allowance. It will be around 16,301 rupees per month. And then your miscellaneous allowances will be around 3,333 rupees per month. Please note that I am giving these figures based on the current analysis of the payslip. These figures may be changing in future based on the company's rules and policies. It will be up to the company. So the total will be adding all of this. It will be around 43,326 rupees. Note that this was the monthly earning before the deductions. There will be a few deductions. Let's look at them. And then speaking about the deductions. What are the fixed monthly deductions? Let's look at them. First thing will be your provident fund. In this provident fund, there will be few options to choose. This will be like uh, yes, no and fixed options will be available. Not much difference. There will be slight difference between yes and fixed options. It will be depending on you which option you will be choosing. All the options, what are those options will be explained to you whenever you join. Anyway, most of the employees will be preferring for provident fund. And coming to this provident fund, it will be around 1800 per month. And then next component will be your professional tax. It will be 200 per month. So your gross deductions will be around 2000 per month. Please note that here I am not including TDS. According to the new tax regime, there will be no tax up to 7 LPA. I am not including this TDS here. So please make a note of this. And also please note that I am not including insurance cuttings here. And if you opted for insurance policy for any of your parents or siblings, so it will be deducted from your salary based on your the, based on the plan you choose. So here our final in hand salary will be forty one thousand three hundred and twenty six rupees. So this was the final in hand salary which will be paid into your bank account by the company per month. And again, as I already said, here there is no tax deduction and insurance also not included. If you opted for insurance, your salary may be little lower than the, than this 41,326. It will be up to the individual to opt for an insurance policy or not. 
that's it guys hope you got an idea about the salary of advanced asc and for asc candidates i will be making another video soon until then please subscribe to my channel thanks for watching